Kabunga y'all, Captain Beardo here. This is going to be a little bit of a quicker video for you guys. I've just been found myself a little bit busy today and still want to get a video out there. So I decided to say, you know what? So we're doing an, an unboxing for Ninja Turtles because I have another NECA two pack to open for you guys. I figured, might as well let's talk quickly about like what I've been doing, some of the films I've been watching, things like that, and yeah, I've been just since I'm unemployed, I've just been going to see movies a lot and just obviously uploading a bunch of YouTube videos this past month. So with with the movies I've seen, I've seen most of the Harry Potter movies because those came out during November ish, October ish. And I've seen like the Star Wars Empire Strikes Back in theaters, which I want to do a review on. Most of these movies I do want to do a review on eventually. Because I have, I still have my thoughts about them. I still have things like that. My, my, some of the reactions I have with, with watching them in theaters. So yeah, like I saw Empire Strikes Back. I saw Toy Story. I saw a good half of the Harry Potter movies. It's not like I've seen them. I, I skipped every other. It's more like I saw like the first two, the last two, and then like some of the middle ones I got to see and didn't get to see with Harry Potter anyway. And then I saw, like I said, Toy Story. I saw, I, I, I just been like Harkins for whatever it has been amazing with just showing like older movies and things like that not necessarily new movies but movies that are old that I've never actually been able to see in theaters and frankly some of some movies I just haven't seen in a while there we go like Toy Story, Harry Potter, Star Wars and then oh yeah I did see um War With Grandpa that new movie when that came out that was a good one. Might do a review off of that. I saw New Mutants, which was really good. Saw Tenet as well. Uh, and then, I think that's actually it. of What I saw last year. And if I and I might do reviews off of each one of the movies I've seen. In theaters anyway. And then, I did see Wonder Woman 1984. 85. The sequel to Wonder Woman. I liked it, it's just, I don't know, I have a critical brain with it, which means, like, my critical brain hates it. I just doesn't think it was a good movie, it wasn't really done quite as well as it should have. And then I got my fanboy self side, that I absolutely love the movie, and doesn't think DC could do it wrong with that side anyway. But that's just me turning off my brain for that. And then I saw... Let's see, I saw Monster Hunter, which was a terrible movie. It could have been, my opinion, just should have been put up into two different movies. And again, I do want to do a review off of that, hopefully, eventually, if I ever get around to it. I might just do reviews off of the ones I did like and not the ones that were not too good. But yeah, and then... I saw Pinocchio, which was a really good movie. This Pinocchio was an English dubbed, and it was it was by Roberto Benin Benini 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 I think Roberto Benini, and I really like that his version of Pinocchio. So I do want to do a review for that here soon, and then most then I've been wanting to watch Rocky. And so I saw the first one last week, which I absolutely love the first one. It was really good, really motivational. Might be one of the, like, the song, the theme song I might actually just put on my playlist and just run to or work out to. Absolutely loved it. I do want to do a review off of that. And I then today I also saw Rocky 2, which I thought was a good sequel to Rocky. It kind of, it more or less was, in my opinion... Rocky 1 just continued at that point. Like they could have just had it be one movie and it would be about the same. But yeah, I 
I loved it, and I do want to do a review off of each Rocky movie. I do plan on seeing all the Rocky movies that, and Harkins and everything. And then I also saw Emperor's New Groove today as well, which I, in theaters, it is that much better, in my opinion. Like, with all movies, seeing it in theaters it makes it that much better just because, A, it's on a big screen, B, if you're lucky, you have people around, especially right now with, like, how theaters are doing and everything. But you have, like, that. It's just the atmosphere, the whole theater experience does make it that much better for me. But, yeah, Ember's New Groove, it's a classic. And I forgot how good of a movie it was. And, my golly, I enjoyed it. But, yeah, I saw that before I saw Rocky Two, So I saw a back-to-back -back feature that today, which was... Really good. And then I, on Tuesday, I have tickets to go see Ninja Turtles, the 1990s movie, which I'll probably be vlogging and everything. And that was what I was supposed to see for my birthday, even though AMC Theaters decided to close down and all that stuff, which if you have any idea, go look at my birthday vlog that came out on November 5th. Um, but yeah, because it was the 30th anniversary of that. So I'm really happy I get to finally see the Ninja Turtles in theaters on Tuesday. And I found out too, like as I was looking at the Harkins website or my theater's website, it looks like it's going to actually be there until Thursday as well. Like I think it starts tomorrow or Friday and it will go until next Thursday. So there, there's a possibility I'm probably going to see it not just Tuesday, but two or three or four more times. In theaters, just because it's my favorite of all time movie, and I do want to do. A, I'm probably gonna do a review off of that movie. Probably do a review with Wild Man, just because he's it is gonna be his first time seeing it. Same with a lot of my like, cause I, so Tuesday I'm seeing it with my small group, and a lot of them hasn't haven't even seen the movie yet. So I'm excited to possibly have them with their reactions and things like that with the movie. Next week I'll probably do, if I, if possible, that is, I'll do a bunch of 1990s Ninja Turtle movie videos that kind of surround like the movie, like, because I do have the poster signed, I do have a, a, the script book signed by the producer and things like that, so maybe I'll do a deep dive into the script book, do the review of the movie, look at the poster, do like a critical analysis of like the poster, um, look, bring out all my NECA figures, do a comparison with all of them, and just like kind of just celebrate the Ninja Turtles 1990 movie anyway. And this year's actually the um, Secret of the U is the second one anniversary as well. So once, if that ever, if I get to see that in theaters, I'll probably do the exact same thing with that week and everything as I'm doing with the 90s as well. So yeah, like, I've been seeing a lot of movies, a lot of good ones. The movie I saw last night on Netflix that kind of blew me away. It's very serial, serious. <laughs> and it was just a really well-made anime movie. And it was just really good. And that is A Silent Voice, the movie. It's just, it's about, how, I want everyone to see it, if if you're able to see it, just because of how good it and how powerful it was, but it's about a deaf girl who is kind of bullied, and the bully, it, it's actually more about the bully person, he kind of, he bullies her and things like that, but then as he's aging and like gets older and stuff like that, he starts regretting it. And he deals with, like, depression, deals with suicide, things like that. And then he reconnects with her. Um, and then she, like, he fun then we find out that she's dealing with the same thoughts, the same thing like that. And it's just, it's an incredible movie. And, like, every second of the movie just has you hooked in. And it's just, it's a really good movie. And a, one of the movies that is, just needs to be watched by whoever just for the awareness of what bullying can do the awareness of the deaf community and things like that it's just it's just heart-wrenching and there's a lot of care taken into it so 
I did cry like a baby when I was watching it just because of how emotional it was for me. But yeah, um, I'm trying to think of a, if there's any other movies I've seen. I finished Yu Yu Hakusho, so maybe I'll do a a TV review of that. I might want to do a Ben 10 review like of the episodes because I finished that a while ago. I'm watching Inuyasha right now, which I'm almost done with season one, actually, which it's a really good show. Love it. And then, like, I'm rewatching like, Star Wars, Clone Wars. I'm on season three now. And then I got, been watching, oh, I've, I've been watching Pokemon Journeys, which is on Netflix, and my golly, they, they, they're doing something really good with that show. Like, I am just unbelievable, like, surprised with how well the show is. Because after, like, the, after Johto, in the, in the anime, I just kind of fell off for a little bit. I, I've seen all 1,100 episodes or 1,200 episodes or wh however many episodes there are of the show. But it just seemed like the first few seasons were, like, really good. And then after it, like, got, got done with the Johto arc, like, Gen 3 and stuff like that, it just kind of was more man and just kind of was loosely off of the games. And it just just didn't work. It wasn't, like... And then they tried rebooting it with Gen 5. And then they tried rebooting it again, kind of slightly with um, Sun and Moon. But this time they actually got like perfected down. They got a good writer. Like everything, like all the story plots are really good. Ash is kind of a secondary character this time around. It's more Go that's the primary character. And I love that they have Go wanting to go catch them all. Which just kind of resonates better with like the anime and with the game. With just Pokemon in total. And they, they're actually giving Ash some really good Pokemon as well. They're actually showing him battle pretty well as well. Like, he's the Ash that we more or less wanted in, the, like, the X and Y series and, like, things like that. So, do watch Pokemon Journeys. I'm just, yeah, like, a lot of, I've been watching a lot of movies, a lot of TV shows, a lot of anime, actually, and... Yeah, if you want to, like, ha hear me talk more about any of these, I, like, if any of them, like, picture interest of, like, my thoughts or want to review off of or what whatnot, just comment down below. Let me know. I I'll try to... I do want her to get to all this stuff eventually as well. So, we'll see. And then, yeah, like I said, like, these next two weeks, we'll see how, like, my time works and all that stuff. Because I will probably be taking care of my grandpa for the next two weeks. And, which comes with a lot of stuff on that. So, we'll, I'll try my best to keep the contact coming and stuff like that. And now that January, January is almost over, I do plan on only releasing about three videos a week. If not two. And then, yeah, I'll try to get on some of a schedule. If I do have time, I'll probably try to post as many videos as possible. But yeah, we'll see with how my time goes and everything like that. Uh, enough of me rambling, I guess. Um, but yeah, those are like the movies, the TV shows, what I've been kind of doing. And yeah, so without further ado, leave a like on this video, subscribe, ring that bell so that way you're notified whenever I talk about anything fandom, anything nerdy, or Ninja Turtles, Pokemon and whatnot and yeah i guess there's nothing else besides like just comment down below like let's talk about movies if there's a movie that you want me to see movies that you want me to review things like that just comment down below so without further ado feel the beard and deuces